Welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in tech solutions. Today in this video, we are tackling a challenge that many of you have asked about. Securing a large parking lot with surveillance that is both effective and cost efficient. So let's zoom into the two solutions that we're about to provide, shall we? And when it comes to large parking areas, one camera simply doesn't cut it. You need a multiple cameras for ample coverage and to maintain a high pixel density. And now you may wonder, why not just use a panoramic camera? Well, while panoramic camera gives you a wide view, they often lose out on the crucial details due to the low pixel density. Remember, the higher pixel density you have, the clearer the image you get. So here enter our dynamic duo for today's first solution, the bullet camera plus the PDZ camera. So let's start by breaking down these two heroes. Bullet cameras are known for their rugged design, broader perspective, and comprehensive coverage. They provide high quality image and can cover a wide angle, making them perfect for monitoring specific areas within our parking lot. On the other hand, PDZ cameras bring versatility to the table. They can pan, till and zoom into different areas, offering the flexibility to monitor various sections of the parking lot actively. So now imagine the synergy of using them together. For example, if you're putting them here, oops, if you're putting them here, the bullet camera can monitor a designated area while the PDZ camera can move around and zoom in on details as needed. And here comes the twist. Installing two cameras usually means pulling two cables, right? But not anymore. Thanks to our 1 in 2 out PoE extender, you only need one cable for both cameras. And this not only simplifies the installation process, but also solves the problem of powering devices over longer distances. So now let's move on to the demonstration board, and I'm going to show you how to connect them. So here we are, as you can see our bullet camera and a PDZ camera are already mounted on the same pole. We are going to use this 100 meters ethernet cable for the installation. So now let's do the connection from the beginning. We have an NVR to display video footage and this is our WebSmart PoE switch. We are going to use this to power up our cameras. First I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the switch with the NVR. Next we have a 100 meters ethernet cable. Let's plug it into our switch. Instead of two cables, now we only need one cable for both of our cameras. Looking underneath here, we have our 1 in 2 out PoE extender. This is completely waterproof, you can even bury it under the ground since it's IP67 waterproof rated. But first I'm going to take out the neck and the gland for easy installation. Now, when you install it, make sure you use a wrench to fasten them tightly. We have a 100 meters ethernet cable coming under through this pole. This is our PoE input port and we are going to plug it in here. And you can see the indicator light is on. Now we have two PoE output port. Just simply plug in two ethernet cable, connect to our PDZ and the bullet cameras. And as you can see, the indicator lights are on, so now they're getting the power that it need. Let's put it back inside the pole. And just simply screw it back. Okay, just leave it this way. And now our PDZ camera and the bullet camera are getting the power that they need. Mm -hmm. 
and looking at our camera our looking at our monitor our cameras are already working and they're in a live video so we have a broad coverage here and we can zoom in or out on our PDZ camera I'm going to show you by using the PDZ control and as you can see I'm zooming in out and you can also pan till and zoom so that's it and for those who need even broader coverage here comes the second solution installing four bullet cameras on the same pole facing four different directions now this way amplifies the advantages by providing unparalleled clarity and coverage let's say if you put it right here the four bullet camera are going to face four direction in this case you can pretty much see everything within your parking lot and to power this setup efficiently outdoor we are going to use an outdoor poe pass-through switch which is a game changer for saving powers and ensuring durability so now let's move on again and check out our setup so here we have the setup for solution 2 all four bullet cameras are mounted on the pole and beneath it we're using this outdoor PoE pass-through switch again a 100 meters ethernet cable and let's do the connection from the beginning this time we have a little bit different we have this 90 watts PoE injector in order to inject high power PoE for our PoE pass-through switch and all four bullet cameras so again we are going to use a short patch cord to connect the NVR to our WebSmart PoE switch and connect the switch with our 90 watts PoE injector. Plug it into the data input port. And for the PoE output port, we're using this 100 meters Ethernet cable. So it can inject high power PoE to our PoE pass through switch. Now this outdoor PoE pass-through switch is IP67 waterproof rated and it has a heat dissipation hole so nothing can get in and keep in mind only port number 8 received the power so I'm going to plug in the 100 meters ethernet cable to port number 8 since we have 4 bullet cameras so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in four ethernet cables so here we go now this poe pass-through switch allow multiple devices to be connected and powered through a single ethernet cable and this significantly reduces the complexity and cost of cabling and they're designed not just for cameras they also support SS point intercoms and lighting controls allowing for a comprehensive and integrated surveillance and security system now all four cameras are working already so let's take a look at our monitor let me see the channel set make sure all four cameras are connected here we go now we have four cameras facing four different locations and they are a live video so our solution too is done and before we wrap up let's talk about choosing the right location and mounting heights for your cameras it is crucial to position your cameras where they can provide maximum coverage without obstruction install cameras along the perimeter of the parking lot and also consider facing them to high value facilities or areas containing high value assets and when it comes to height ensure they're mounted high enough to avoid vandalism but still close enough to capture clear images for bullet cameras which are often used to monitor specific areas an optimal mounting height is around 8 to 12 feet that's 2.4 to 3.6 meters off the ground and PDZ cameras which can pan, tilt and zoom to cover a large areas could be mounted a little higher to take full advantage of their capability and most importantly 
ensure that camera are positioned in a well-lit areas or equipped with night vision capabilities. For areas with poor lighting, consider installing additional lighting or opting for cameras with strong low light performance. And there you have it, a comprehensive yet cost-effective solutions for surveilling large parking areas. And whether you're managing a shopping center, office complex, or any large properties, this setup ensures you won't miss a thing. Now, thank you very much for joining us on Fast Cabling. Before you go, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights and solutions. And until next time, stay secure.